we're gonna do a really cute glittery nail acrylics today and I think you're gonna like this super super easy and we're gonna start off with our clear by V Beauty Pure I figured this would also be a great time to do our little nail diary vlog and we'll just kind of catch up I haven't done that in a minute so I hope you enjoyed this little video again it's beginner friendly super duper easy and I'll tell you my reason behind doing these particular nails today is because I had removed my previous product. I really, really, really wanted to do some long nails. I've got an event coming up this weekend and I want to have long nails for it. But I am also in the process of bleaching and dyeing my hair and I'm waiting for my products to come in for that. They should be in, I think by the end of this week or this weekend. Anyway, I didn't want to do really long nails and then get them stained underneath or on top or anything um, i've got the no stain top coat so the top probably wouldn't be a problem but i didn't want to stain any of it plus i'm not real sure how long nails going inside of a you know a glove would be so so i figured this week to help protect my nails and have something fun to look at we would just do some glittered acrylics really nice thin coat and um, just something to kind of protect my surface so that way my nails don't, you know, peel or break or chip or anything while I am waiting to do my long set. Yeah, I'm DIYing my hair this go round um, just cause that's kind of where I am. So yesterday I did a little haircut on myself after looking at several tutorials and I'll give you an idea of what that looks like once I get my hair colored. And uh, like I said, I had ordered the products, waiting for those to come in, and I feel like I'm waiting forever. My hair is currently this pale yellow color from bleaching, and I'm just ready to get on with it and get a better color on here. On the nail front, I honestly haven't been too, too busy. Um, my client's nails have been lasting longer, which is great. Um, I have been doing several sets of Halloween nail art, so if you're looking for anything like that, come look at my page. I've got really, I think, some really cute nails for that. We're going to be doing a lot more Halloween nails as this month progresses. My clients have really been loving the Madame Glam fiberglass nails. They really, really, really like it, and I like it too. It's, it's again, very simple and easy to do. Have you guys been saving up and, and ordering your halloween nail art tools and whatnot if you haven't think about just creating your own whimsical nail art with the color palette that you have because honestly the christmas boxes are going to be here before we know it i know i'm going to be saving up starting now so that way i can get the boxes that i want to get last year i really 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 enjoyed those boxes so I want to be able to get the boxes I really want this year and um, hopefully you guys can afford a few of the boxes that you want to get too because it's super fun. I know finances have been a little rough this year. Hopefully we'll get a break soon but that's why I'm kind of starting early on saving up for my boxes. Plus like I said the nail business for me right now has been really slow and I know we're coming upon Halloween and stuff and that's usually when people start picking up it's just not my case right now, but um, hopefully you're doing better. <laughs> acrylics that I'm going to use today are from Acrylicious. It's Shardalicious. I really, really like it. It's got the shards of the holographic and kind of pastel -y colored. Outside of the nail world, what I've been up to is kind of just enjoying the weather I've been taking it a little easy since it's been slow and I knew I I gotten you know like sick with a few little colds here and there um, earlier this year and I've been needing to rest up from that so 
I've just been kind of taking my time. I know I need to do some fall cleaning here pretty soon and a little bit more desk rearranging. So I'll have to get on that pretty soon, but for now, just been trying to catch up on some rest. So I'm just laying my acrylic down, my glittered acrylic down, just really thin. It's okay if it's not perfectly smooth because I am gonna go over it with a file and just kind of buff that down a little bit, smooth it out, and um, then we're gonna put on our final top coat. So it's all gonna be smooth in the end. I made a homemade lasagna this week. It's huge. I really didn't even have enough space in my pan or pot or whatever to really contain all of the layers. <laughs> so I feel like I'm gonna be eating on lasagna for a month. This week was Jandy's birthday, so I went and got us some Krispy Kreme donuts for the week, and I have been munching on those all week. I, I feel like I've probably gained 20 pounds. It has been a really good treat though. It's not something I get like maybe but once or twice a year. So this week has been really nice waking up to a box of Krispy Kremes. Have you guys tried Krispy Kremes? Are they your favorite? They're my absolute favorite. Probably that and creme brulee. Between those two things, yeah, those are, those are equal. Maybe some bread puddings I love. Like love, love. Let's see what else has been going on. We were having car problems. We got that sorted, thank God, because we cannot afford another car right now. The dogs have been on their baddest behavior and been getting in trouble. We had a little scuffle today with one of the littles. That was fun. On a good note though, I found the time to come in here and do something with my nails and something fun that I enjoy. So this makes me happy. We've been watching a lot of true crime stories and Dexter and Halloween shows that are on. This weekend is gonna be full of hanging out with friends and then we're taking a little trip to the Holocaust Museum in Dallas, which we've both been dying to go to. And um, we just, oops, we just uh, haven't found the time until recently. So we'll be doing that. I think I may be doing a little vlogging of that so that way you guys can kind of see what it's like also been scoping out our local true crime locations and seeing what's still there um, what stories might be interesting to tell you guys during a nail vlog so we, we have been thinking about that and going by some places and I have been putting like some little videos up here and there of that If you're enjoying this little tutorial and vlog, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, as I said, now we're just gonna go around with our fine file, just kind of smooth things over. Anything that's sticking up feels a little rough or rugged or anything, we're just gonna smooth everything out before we add our top coat. Good news to report on the nail front. I'm not really sure why things are so slow. For me, at least, they just are. I probably need to get out and do some more promoting. I'm, I know I need to go buy a couple places and drop off some business cards. Actually, I need to order some more business cards and kind of pick a better design than what I had before. We're just gonna dust everything off, clean everything up, and then lay two coats of our top coat, of our gel top coat, and then we'll be all done. And I'll let you see how pretty these are. 
These nails are so easy to do that I could really see a teenager enjoying to do this look. You can really, you know, change it up depending on what kind of glittered acrylics that you want. I just wanted something that was really reflective and kind of natural looking. So that's why I went with this one. But super duper easy. You could even make these into like more like dip nails if you didn't feel comfortable with the acrylic brush. this part up a little bit so that way you guys don't get too too bored and we'll make this as short as possible. Here's a glimpse of what they're gonna look like when they come out of the nuker. And we're gonna put some oil on them, get them all nicely pretty, and then I'll take some pictures.